Yeah. Love ingenuity, man. Very good. If you don't have it, you make it. And stay to have it. Yeah, block the garage door with that colorful tar. See how the surf is still inside the that's how it that's how it eats the sand off the beach. It sweeps it sideways and then sucks it out the sea. I expect all those finds that we saw yesterday will all be gone whenever I can make it out there. It keeps raining, I see it's gonna rain some more. You see it coming? You cannot see the horizon over there. It's on this lake. So, I don't know how deep it'll go, but high tide's over. It's been about 15 minutes ago, and it's on its way down. So, maybe the rain will stop later and we'll go see what the damage to the beach is. Um, quite sure it's extensive. Well, y'all saw the beach yesterday. Look at this. The tide came all the way up to the, that step right there. Look how steep this is, man. All those vines are in a row right now. Look at that. Wow. This was the level where my feet are. This is the level of the beach. That's the now it's a cliff here. How much look how much wall remember I, that was only a foot sticking out of there lord have mercy now you see how much wall is there it keeps going and going but wow there was only a foot of wall the beach was right here yesterday so then I lost three feet of sand. You see what I mean? There's the roots of that tree where I piled the rocks up a long time ago to try to support this tree. Wow. You know, I was walking up there yesterday. These rocks certainly help. Look at that big one I put up here. Back. Wow, the shoreline is completely different. The sweeping uh, surf really took a lot out. My pineapple tree is gone. I mean, my coconut tree is gone. Yeah, it was right about here. But look, those footings are starting to starting to get close to underneath those footings. I remember seeing this wall yesterday. I don't think this wall is, this wall used to be longer, don't it? Yeah, some of this wall broke off. to come out a little bit farther, I believe. It looked like it broke, don't it? that wall now if it wasn't there it would be it would really be bad you see 
all the rock shit I brought up here to help control this because I know what happens. It's helped my steps, that's for sure. These base rocks I got down here. Wow. It really protected this bamboo. Yeah, this wall saved that bamboo. Wow. Man. What happened to the beach? <laughs> you know that bottom step right there, it was even, it was like a half an inch below that bottom step right there, the sand bar. With a gentle slope going down. And that, that sliding surf, it really ate this shoreline up. Need to get busy on low tide and gather more rocks up, put them up here while while the position is good before the sand comes back. That tree is leaning now. You see its roots. I told y'all a lot about that. The roots are just hanging in the air. There you go. They're hanging there again, but it was worse than this before. I didn't have these walls up there before either. Here's a picture of that rock wall yesterday when it was only one foot of it sticking out of the sand. That's the end of it, or, or right near the middle of the screen right there. And it, well, the vines are still there. And that's the base up by the fence. You see that there's only like one foot sticking out. Here's another picture from yesterday. Look at all them vines, how wide it is. And now look at the beach. Wow. Only like 12 inches from sticking out, so. I'll measure that later with a tape measure. <laughs> Bottom of my foot to my belly button, that leaves the foot of that wall sticking out 12 inches. So that'll tell us exactly how much sand was lost from there last night and this morning. Well, I'm pretty sure this wall came out to the same length as this wall. Because some of this wall is gone have to build it back. Unlike the government, I will build it back better. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm not a mouthpiece. couldn't believe that it would come back but it does that's what I, that's how I coined the term the shifting sands of Zaragoza <laughs> the rocks don't shift so bad but I see that it got some of the rocks some of them got swept away but a lot of them uh, pretty much saved the foundations 
<laughs> well, it kind of worked. I just need to build back better. For real, instead of pretend. Okay, so remember I measured from where I was standing out there to uh, uh, my belly button was right here, top of my belly button. That was where a foot, 12 inches of that wall would have been sticking out uh, before the uh, storm washed it away. So if I measure from the ground where my feet were standing to my belly button. That is the amount of sand missing from the beach. Right here on this tape measure, we'll look at this tape measure and see. That's where it was, right there. What? Oh, that's right at the meter mark. See one meter? Is that where it was? Okay. I'll lock it on one meter. Yeah. One meter mark is right there, right where I measured at. So for you Americans, that's uh, three feet, three inches, and three eighths. About approximately a meter. <laughs> So, later on in a uh, few hours, it's going to be low tide around 3.30. I'm going to go out there and rescue some of the biggest rocks that are out there and re-fortify the fence line. Re-fortification. That's what it's all about, man. They sang all night long over there yesterday next door. Boy, uh, they got toasted too. Really drunk. You know, I could understand the words when they started singing. At the end, it was just, In the beginning, it was, I'd love to change the world, but I don't know what to do. And then at the end it was, I don't know what I changed, yeah, dude. <laughs> so I live on the blue dot, and right above that at that star, and it says Manila, that's 250 miles. So I was wondering, how is Babinka way up at the top still causing this much damage here? That's over a thousand miles away, probably 1,200 miles away. But look what other else is formed in the Pacific. Right beside Manila at two o'clock, one o'clock, you see that big, wow, that is really dragging. If you watch those purple lines, it's dragging right across that blue dot where I live. Wow. This is three days of solid rain in a row. In 10 minutes, it'll be high tide. It looks, it appears like it comes all the way up to the gate because you know, they had a bamboo gate right there. And I saw it wiggling around, but now I don't see it. I think you will see it floating here in a minute. Here comes another band of rain. got it in their building but my bathroom held up well look at that nice get my 
builder kind of tuck everything under the edge. That's why it doesn't look like that. Oh, there's their gate. I see their gate right there. It just caught a wave. It just only fell down. It didn't float away. Maybe it's tied. I think there will be many vines left. I hope that my little coconut, my baby coconut tree, is going to make it. I don't think it's going to make it through this unless it had a tap root already. Could have. Maybe it knew the dangers. <laughs> you know, because when they go floating up the islands, you know, the coconut itself, and if it gets up on a high tide it gets in the sand it knows it don't have much time it's got to be built into sending a tap root quick we'll see later on if we get a break i will go check out what the high tide will look like it's like a tornado almost to hit hold on man. Hold on loosely, but don't let go. Cause if you cling too tightly, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose control. Whoa! What was that? What the heck? Was that the door? The wind has been blowing oh. everywhere. Got to take it for the team. <laughs> wow. Green hawk down. Man. Green hawk down with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75 to 100 souls on board. Green hawk down. Dang, man. Those are way too young survive to, you know, they won't taste right or anything. They still have the banana heart. They're still going to have some babies, but I'm going to try to leave it just like that and see will it still get some nutrients. Maybe. Because it's not broke. It's just bent. Kind of doubt it, but and then these other two banana trees went down. They didn't have bananas on them. They were future banana trees. And then this big stalk right there has some scraggly bananas right there. But it didn't fall. This one was hopeful to have some decent bananas, but storm got it. The storm got them. These bananas are still okay. Hopefully they make it through the storm. It's a good group. It's a good group right there. And I don't see any more damage over here. Hi. That blasted. I don't like it when bananas go down. Oh man, look at these bananas right here, man. That makes me sick, man. Makes me sick. Dang it.
got some damage. Those bananas got damaged. They're kind of scraggly, but suit. Very good. That's 200 bananas. 200 bananas down. much wind noise anyway that's some thin skim coat right there that was painted it's okay because that cement has got a uh, uh, what they call a uh, waterproof and mixing the cement every cement back and so the wind blew it off of there you know found a place to get under it and just blew it right off of there but when I face the other way, the wind is not so bad. So this right now. Probably hear it in. Uh... bananas up once. maybe this tub right there and maybe that will allow them to get some nutrition long enough to get a little bit more mature by that I mean edible <laughs> oh there's some more bananas right there those are brand new hang in there buddy Hang in there. So, I lost three groups of bananas. This one was the best looking, the most of them. And, uh, see, I popped them up on that barrel, lifted it up, and got the bananas off the ground. So, maybe they can mature a little bit more and be edible. And lifting it up also maybe can let some nutrients through there. Wow, that's not looking good though there. It's a 90 degree shot right there. Damn. Gotta lift that banana tree all the way back up almost. Well, maybe what's in the stalk is enough to feed it here to there. Until I think that's one of those worms that eat the banana tree right there, if I'm not mistaken. Not sure. I'm going to take a picture of that. Ask my friends. Soccer player. <laughs> that ant is very interested in him. He's calling for some help, I think. He's gonna go back and tell the guys. Oh yeah, they're starting to they're starting to gear up. Here's another casualty. 
these banana trees are rotting because maybe they didn't get no sun. They're rotting as babies. There's been no sunshine for birth lately. <laughs> I think that's probably it. And this one, I don't know. See, this is a major casualty, three stalks. It's a lot of mulch. Maybe those bananas will be all right. I'll just leave it like that and see what happens. Oh, boy. Get these days off of there. You keep it from getting damp. It may be rotten. Maybe we can get some sun now. <laughs> Won't get much up underneath here. Wow, a lot of damage. A lot of damage for a tropical storm 200 freaking miles away. I mean, 1,000 miles away. You know what this is? Oh, a nut from that tree over there. Wow. It's not ready to pick, but it might be, it might put it up there, eat it later. <laughs> Dang, man. That's, I'm glad it wasn't something substantial and hit the house bad, but banana tree can't do nothing to these stainless steel rails. They could do something to me. <laughs> but not back when I was Superman. You know, after you turn 50, they take your cake and you lose all your powers. That's what happened to me, man. That's what happened to me. I had to retire. All right. Actually, I still have my cape. I folded it and turned it in. They didn't take it from me. I folded it and turned it into uh, Steel America. Wow. Dad, gone, man. Might cut that big stalk down some more and let those little shoots take over. Break out the chainsaw. I know shoots are coming out of the side of that trunk. I see a good place to cut, but. There's a limb hanging right there. Wow, it's just a vine holding it up there. Wow, this would have fell on the chickens. Man, it's a good thing I didn't make that chicken pen, man. That would have fell right on this chicken pen. Wow. That would have crushed the pen. Yeah. That's why I've been procrastinating. That would have landed right dead. This main part right here would have landed right on the corner. Wow. And then this one over here would have landed on the other corner. It would have hit it and then branched off over there. Wow, that would split pretty equally. Boom, boom. I wonder if lightning hit that, man. Seems kind of weird, this split from that. From both sides of the stalk at the same time. That pow I heard was not, it hitting the ground, it was the lightning hitting it. 
I know I thought that dark part right there might have been rot, but maybe that's a burn mark. It does kind of look burnt right there, don't it? Yeah. I'm gonna get on inside before something falls on me. came out to assess the damage and I didn't even know anything about these banana trees over there. Falling down. That one. Or this one. All these stalks. I got that off the ground maybe. Maybe it'll do something. But it's still got, it's still got a month to go to be mature. I don't think it's going to make it. Neither one of them really. This is the one that's ready to eat next. And it's not ready. It's not done growing yet. Help me make it through tonight. 